Hi everyone, Lisa Haven here, and I've got some good news in today's report, and that is this. The deep state is downright panicking, and they're panicking again because the mainstream media via the New York Times is finally admitting that the FBI has an active coup against President Trump and that they purposefully filed the Russian narrative against him based off of rumors and the fact that he fired Call me. Now I've stated all along on my channel for the past year and a half that they've had this coup against the president. But finally, the New York Times is forced to admit it. Now I don't believe they're doing this willingly, but I believe they're doing it because so many alternative channels are starting to state the truth. And now they're coming face to face with reality and the public is standing up against that corruption. Check out this article. The first one here is from Infowars.com and it's titled Breaking Deep State Panics Over New York Times Confirming Active FBI Coup Against President Trump. Documents confirm McCabe, Rosenstein, and others lied to the president and to Congress about their secret operations. Here's another from the gatewaypundit.com. High treason. New York Times reveals formation of active FBI coup against President Trump based on outlandish rumors. So true. The entire Russian narrative was based on rumors. Now let's go straight to the New York Times article so you can see it for yourself. Uh, but the New York Times uh, article is titled, FBI opened inquiry into whether Trump was secretly working on behalf of Russia. Now this article goes on to admit a couple of things. First of all, it admits that they were actively investigating President Trump, even though Comey and others went before Congress and said that they didn't have any active investigation against Trump. Well, lo and behold, now you're about to find out that they have. Uh, and a second fact is uh, Comey was fired and because Trump fired Comey, that's the reason that the FBI is claiming that they sought after the Russia investigation. Let me take you to the article and it says this, it says that I quote, the decision to investigate Trump himself was an aggressive move by FBI officials who were confronting the chaotic aftermath of the firing of Mr. Comey and enduring the president's verbal assaults. Of course, they throw that in there on Russia investigation as a witch hunt. A vigorous debate has taken shape among some former law enforcement officials outside the case over whether the FBI investigators overreacted in opening the counterintelligence inquiry during the tumulus period at the Justice Department. In other words, the entire Russia investigation was based off of rumors and hearsay, no actual evidence. They investigated him because he fired Comey and he should have fired Comey. You know why? Because, well... Comey wasn't doing his job in regards to Hillary Clinton and her email scandal and her Uranium One deal. So instead, let's hide the crimes of the Clinton syndicate because the FBI is part of that, some of them, and let's just make up a false narrative on President Trump with Russia. Why is the New York Times all of a sudden coming out with this information? Good question. The answer, because they never found anything tying Trump to the proclaimed crime. And now the truth is forced out. But another thing that uh, the New York Times article revealed, well, let's go to the article itself. And this is what it says. No evidence has emerged publicly that Mr. Trump was secretly in contact with or took direction from Russia government officials. It says no evidence. An FBI spokeswoman and spokesman for the special counsel office both declined when they were asked to comment. No evidence found with Trump and Russia conspiring. You know, presidents and presidents' administrations meet with other countries' leaders all the time. It's standard. Bush met with Putin, Clinton met with Putin, Obama met with Putin, but because Trump does it, they're gonna form some false narrative. But you know what? Thankfully, we have a president who's willing to speak his mind. Here's what he had to say on Twitter, uh, and it's an entire uh, feed here, but he starts off, wow, just learned about the failing New York Times that the corrupt former leaders of the FBI almost all fired or forced to leave the agency for some very bad reasons, opened up an investigation on me for no reason with no proof 
And after I fired lying James Comey, a total sleaze, well said, President. He goes on, funny thing about James Comey, everybody wanted him fired, Republican and Democrat alike. After the rig and botched crooked Hillary investigation where she was interviewed on the 4th of July weekend, not recorded or sworn in, and when she said she doesn't know anything is a lie. It goes on, the FBI was in complete turmoil because of Comey's poor leadership and the way he handled Clinton's mess, not to mention his usurpation of power for the Justice Department. My firing of Comey was a great day for America. He was a crooked cop. Amen. Who is being totally protected by his best friend, Bob Mueller, and the 13 angry Democrats leaking machines who have no interest in going after the real collusion by Hillary Clinton, her campaign, or the DNC. Amen, amen. And then he concludes, I have been far tougher on Russia than Obama, Bush, or Clinton. Maybe tougher than any other president at the same time. And as I have often said, getting along with Russia is a good thing, not a bad thing. I fully expect that some days we that someday we're going to have those good relations with Russia again. Thank you, Trump. He's been harder on Russia because the DNC and the Democrat liars have been forcing him to do that off of some fake narrative, like he's done something wrong with our country. The DNC and Hillary Clinton are the real crime syndicates in this country who are selling us out to unfortunately Chinese communist dictators, to name a few, as well as globalism. You want to know who really wants to make America great again? I do believe that that is President Trump. And I believe he's doing everything he can to build back up this country to where it needs to be. Anyhow, I'd love to get your thoughts, comments, and concerns. Please leave them below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'm Lisa Haven, signing out.